think we are now back. Hope you can see me okay. It basically kicked me out of here, so um, yeah, it's one of those days it looks like. So sorry about that, guys. Um, so I'll just wait a little bit just to make sure um, anyone who was interested in joining us tonight for our painting will uh, be able to do so. Again, the painting we are doing is this one here, Romantic Sunset. Um, and it won with 75% of the votes this week. So we'll be painting this together. Um, so anyone who's rejoining me, thank you. We'll just wait a little while to make sure everyone gets back here. Uh, so we all, I won't get started right away. I'll give it another few minutes or so just to make sure you guys can come back and join. So we're going to be painting this painting right here, Romantic Sunset. Um, and what you'll need for tonight um, is a free paint party so um, you don't need to paint anything. If you see any random links that come up, please uh, don't click on any of the random links. Sometimes there's some sketchiness that happens and they try to uh, get you to click to watch it live somewhere. But if you can see me, we are going to paint together here live for free. Um, if you um, haven't joined me before, um, all of my uh, painting party videos are on the Facebook site and you can access them there. So all of them. So this is number 53. So all the previous uh, 52 videos are there. Uh, same with uh, my YouTube channel as well. They're also on there as well. It's the exact same video. I just uploaded there. So it's nothing fancy at all. Um, but if you prefer which format to view, some people prefer uh, YouTube versus um, Facebook. So it's really up to you. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we're going to get started in a little bit. Um, what I like to use, I'll go through some of my supplies um, and uh, make sure you guys are ready to go. Hi, Ashley. Oh, no way. Ashley said she was looking at this picture on Pinterest earlier this week. That's fantastic. That's so cool. It's meant to be. I love it. That's great. So, yeah, so with tonight, so as usual, I always use um, a canvas board for my paintings. I like the quality of them and it's also really convenient for me to store because I do tend to keep all of my paintings so I have all my previous 53 of them <laughs> in my house in a nice big pile. Um, so I like that. I get them on Amazon. This is an 11 by 14. I like the size as well. I also like these because um, if you are, I have a few frames that fit it so you can easily just pop it in a, a frame and so it has a nice covering on it and uh, protects it from dust and stuff which I like a lot. Um, so that is what I'm going to be using in portrait. Again, um, this is our inspiration. So you can take whatever you like of it. You can leave whatever you don't. You can change things up. So I really want you to think about, um, about, about that too. Okay. Um, so if you like love the way the colors are cool, if you want to change a few things, make it your own. So this is just our inspiration and this is part of what, why this, why we do this. So what I do this is just, um, it really is just about, you can find anything you like that's inspiring and you can make it your own. Um, all of my paints, so I'll go through my paints as well. So all you need is your primary colors, your red, yellow, and your red. And I have black and I have white. If you have these five colors, then you can paint anything you want. For this painting as well, I will likely use brown too. You can pre-mix brown with the primary colors as well, but just for ease of convenience for today, I will um, likely um, dip into that a little bit. Um, these are all from the dollar store. So again, cheap, easy to grab and use. I have two water containers, just have some water containers ready to go and um, paper towel. Acrylic is water-based, so that can help us with our process. I have my extremely dirty palette, which just keeps getting more and more layers of old paint on it, which I rather enjoy. And then we have our paint brushes. And I always say to have good practice to have at least three sizes of paint brushes. A large one, a medium, and a fine. And the reason why I say that in more generic terms, it just really depends on the size of your canvas. So for me, I have that in relation to this. If I was doing a larger um, painting, it would be larger paintbrushes and so forth. So really, just whatever you're using would is beneficial. Um, and that is pretty much that. And once we get started, I will move the camera a little bit over too. So this is the painting again for anyone who might be joining us. So if you like, you can grab um, a screenshot of it here if you want, it's up to you, um, or you can grab it from the winning post, because um, I put the winning post up yesterday around noon. So you can take that as well and just have it available. Sometimes it's nice to have it there in case I move too quickly or too slowly for you, so you still have that as reference right beside you, okay? And we'll walk 
through it step by step. Hey Georgette! Oh, I'm so glad that you're joining us. That's fantastic. It's always nice. It's fun. It's funny how things you can get out of like habit with, and then when you get back into, it just feels so much nicer. Um, I'll just move it there for now. I'm just gonna wait a couple more seconds because um, I had to reset this live earlier, and I just want to make sure anyone who wants to join um, has a chance to do so before we actually fully start. And then I'll move the camera lower so you guys can actually see the the everything closer as well. Okay, cool. And again, for anyone who is joining or doesn't know, every week uh, there's three images that we put I put up on the page. Um, they're images I find online, uh, like from Pinterest, like Ashley saw those on Pinterest, um, or from photos. Um, I don't own the rights to the images. Um, I just find anything that I think is fun. And then um, I paint, this is the first time I'm painting it, and I talk you through how I would go about painting this image. Um, and And yeah, and then you can also share. So if you have tips and tricks, something that's working really well for you, please make a comment on it. Uh, let us know. It's always nice to uh, to share best practices. We've gotten some really great tips in the past from people doing things, so definitely let us know. Um, and also feel free to let me know if I'm doing something that looks kind of funky. Um, that's happened before too, and I appreciate it. Um, sometimes when you're like really close to things, you end up not seeing it as well as when you're further away. So um, so yeah, so I think we'll get started. We have about 24 people. Sounds about right. Hey, Patty. And then, of course, please let me know where you're tuning in from. You can say hi in the comments, um, and I will keep an eye on the chat. It's really quiet from anyone who, again, knows about the scammy people that come around. And nothing's happened so far. So I feel apprehensive because I feel like they're, I don't know, <laughs> I'm a little bit sketched out about it. Like, there's been no one I've blocked yet today. So it's kind of it's kind of a weird day. So, yeah. Um, but maybe they're taking a break. Who knows? All right. I'm going to move the camera down and we'll um, get started and I will talk you through the first little bit or two. All right, so there we go. Okay. I'm going to have to move, adjust this a little bit as we go up and down on the canvas, but we'll go from there. Parfait. Hey, Roots here from Puerto Rico. Fantastic. Hi, Lisa from New Jersey. Awesome. Hi again, Patty. I'm so excited you guys are here. Okay, so as we always do when we start our uh, painting, we were going to start whatever's furthest back. So we're going to start, I'm going to start with the sky. It's going to be my first stop, and then we're going to do the water. Those are going to be the two first things I'm going to do. And as you can see, it's a mirror in the color. So you have like your dark bluish purple, then you get your purple, and it reflects the same way back in the water. Um, your pinks and then your orange, your yellow, and then the white area where like your your sun would be um, setting. Uh, so we're going to be doing that and then do kind of the reflection there. And then the difference, of course, is with the water, we're going to have some nice like waves. That's my favorite part, as, as most of you who have painted with me before know. So to get this started, um, I'm actually my red is really, really thin. So I'm going to, instead of what I normally do, is I normally put a thin coat of water so I can have a nice base going. But because my red paint is so thin, I'm not going to do that this time. Um, so as I've mentioned, all of my paint is from the dollar store. Some of the paint is very watery and some of the paint is, um, you know, actually thicker and the way it kind of should be. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to do it that way. So what I, what we're going to do is we're going to get our paint on our palette ready to go and I'm going to start off with putting some red and some blue on my palette putting quite a bit of red like I said that's pretty liquidy that's pretty chunky okay that's not very appealing to watch <laughs> camera <laughs> let me just clean that off with my paper towel. Towel papier. Papier. Okay. And then I'm also going to put, we're going to be using the yellow very soon. I might as well start with yellow too. Let's put some yellow on there. Oof. And then I'm going to get a little bit of white going. What is up with this? Okay, there we go. And I don't think, I uh, don't want to use a bit, 
I'm going to use like a, a little dollop of black because I'm not sure, but we'll see. Okay. Awesome. Wendy, we are painting this picture right here. This one right there. That is what we are painting today. A romantic sunset. And hello, everyone who's joined. Yay. Hi, Tracy and Pearl and Millie. And Kathy, I use dollar store paint. Whatever is at the Dollarama is the paint I use. This is deco art. Probably about a buck per paint tube here in Canada. That is what I do. Cheapest one. So I'm going to start off, like I said, normally if you have decent paint, I still want to still put water on my canvas. You know what? We're going to do it. Sorry, I go back and forth. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of water on our brush and let's just put a thin coat on here. Worst case, if my red paint does what I think it's going to do, I might have to do like two co coats of the background before I'm happy with it. Because as again, anyone who's painted with me knows I like it to be more opaque. So just put a thin coat of water. I feel like it's not like ready to paint on until I do this. I don't know. Maybe it's more of a, a mental thing. And then I just dab it a bit with my paper towel because I tend to put a little bit too much with my brush usually. I just want it like a little bit damp. So that my hand's a little bit wet like that. Okay. So let's start with our background. So I'm going to start with putting some blue back here. So I'm going to make a purple right on my canvas. So I'm going to start by putting blue along the top. Okay. Then I'm going to grab red. And I'm going to put it right in there and start mixing right on my canvas. Got some more red. Okay. Yeah, see the red's so thin it like, I'm not happy with it. We do what we can do. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it a little bit of a light, more of a red purple at the bottom here, and keep it a bit darker with the blue, more of a blurple, blue purple at the top. So as you see, I'm just using my big brush, and I'm just doing full strokes all the way across. And the water on the canvas helps the paint spread easier. And you get more coverage that way. Okay, I'm going to continue going on with some red. I know it's more of a pink in the original, but I'm going to stick with the red because I think it's emanating nicely from that purple. It's like a natural progression, right? I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to clean my brush off a bit because I'm noticing I'm having a bit too much. <laughs> oh, I feel like today is the day of... I just like try to clean my arm, but I grabbed the paper towel that I had um, a bunch of blue paint on and I used that on my arm instead. So I ended up putting paint on my arm instead of cleaning the paint from my arm. <laughs> so that's what just happened. <laughs> that's one of those days. Cool, cool. All right. Let us continue and enjoy this process. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of white in here. Get kind of a pinky going, dull my red out a bit. So whenever I add a color, I try to start in the white of the canvas where I haven't painted yet, and then I pull it up into the rest of it. That's how we are creating this. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow because I want to start getting an orangey happening. So again, I'm going to put this yellow like kind of just below. And this isn't going to stay yellow. This is still going to be my orange zone. And I'm going to bring in this into my peachy color I made just before. And it's going to become more of an orange. I'll bring it all the way up. Ready. Okay. I 
think I need to make this a little bigger though. Yeah, I do need to make this a bit bigger. Okay, so what do we need to do? I wanted to go at least till over there. Okay, so I'm gonna just add a bit more, make that red zone a bit wider. I'm putting some red paint back in here. I realize I just started changing the color a little bit too quickly. I'm just going to drop the red a little bit lower before I start changing it. That's better. And then let's get some more purple happening. Okay, now let's do what I just did before because I was a little bit too happy to get this gradation of color going. So I'm going to get some white just to get my lighter red happening here. Let's get the yellow and start putting it in with this line here. here because we want this to be orangey. So yellow. I'm also making sure I'm getting the size of my canvas as I'm doing it. Especially if you're using an actual canvas and you're going to hang it up, you want to make sure the sides of it are painted. So it keeps the color and the image going. So I'm just mixing and getting this orangey kind of color. So I'm putting red into my yellow. I'll bring it back up. There we go. That's better. My sky was a little too small before. Kind of went a little crazy on it. Okay. I think I want it to come down more than halfway. So now we're going to get more of our pure yellow happening in this area. Oh, that's so much nicer. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's more or less where I wanted to stop. Yeah, looks about right. You guys can see that okay. I'm trying to, uh, hopefully that will make it a little lighter. It is very dark up there anyways. I'm not missing too much, <laughs> but it just looks very dark in general. I need better lighting, that's for sure. My goodness. Okay. Cool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically reverse what I did down here and I don't need to worry about bringing it as far over because we're only going to bring it, we're going to have this like kind of a heart shape happening. Um, but I still want to have the same gradation at the top as I do below here. Um, and I'm going to do that before I'm going to put in that white area, but I'm going to do that a little bit later. So I'm going to just continue and put in um, the same colors that I did at the top, only I'm going to do it at the bottom here. So again, I want to start with blue down here. Just make sure it goes further than where that heart is going to land. Okay, so just you need, if, you need to, if you need to make it the whole thing, you can, and then we can uh, you can go from there. And right now we're just doing the base, so we're not getting all the intricacies of the water. 
we're just getting the color, the background color happening here with the water. Because as you see, it's more like you can see all the little lines and the waves happening. Okay, so I just put in red into it. Just to get kind of a purpley happening. I'm going to dab of white because I want to lighten it up a bit. Okay, and I'm going to get more red, bring that into the water. Bring it out further. Okay, a little bit more white. Get a pinky happening, pink color. Some yellow. Oh, I'm already done my yellow on my. Need to get some more yellow on there. The large brush I'm using is like a stapling brush. Um, I sure I know uh, someone had said that they thought this brush was one that you'd use for like oil paints because it's a lot more coarser bristles um, I, I just use it because I like it and this is the only one I have that's really large <laughs> that's why I use it but I've gotten used to it and I and I do like that it's coarser um, but I don't know if that's what it would be officially called to be honest I think you actually would know more than I would, to be honest, because I don't know that. Okay. And it's putting some white here to bring it closer. I do want it to be more yellowy. Okay. And we're still going to have those, like, that, like, mountainy ridge thing happening, so. Okay, so there we go. So we have, like, a nice... mirror image of like the top to the bottom so we have that we're going to put like there's a very light where i didn't really put anything that's touching slightly we're going to have this like little mountainy ridge happening so that's going to give us a nice horizon point there um and then i'm still going to put in lots of lovely watery details um in our um in our little pond here so we'll have that going too but not just yet in a moment we will but not right now um right now though i am going to um stop using my big brush and i'm going to transition to either my medium or my fine not sure which yet um it really depends i want to start i might use my fine brush to start putting in that horizon line that's what i'm thinking but no i'm sorry i can't do that yet silly me i still want to put in this kind of like white area there and here it kind of gives the idea that there's like a brightness but it doesn't actually have like the sun in it or not so I don't know if I want to put the sun still setting I think I might I might still do like a white orb I think I might I think I prefer that I think I'm going to still put that in and then I might still fade it out a bit but I guess this kind of just makes it look like more like it's like a cloud cover so you can't really see the orb setting but changing things up okay so maybe we'll get a fine brush no I want a medium brush that's what I want where's my medium brush okay let's try this one and see how it goes okay so let's say okay where do I want my it's gonna come around here I think just with white paint, a medium brush, I'm just going to put an orb where I want that to be. Okay. Um, but I still want it to have... Hmm. <laughs> I want this area to have more white, so I'm going to put just white paint with this medium brush and just... white paint here just 
I'm going to do more details afterwards, but just to get the coloring in. Okay. I don't know if I want it to be fully like an orb or if I want it to be more blended. I'm not sure yet. Basically, if I want it to be blended, I could just... Everything's still pretty wet. I could just blend it into the yellow. Let's see how that works. If I like it, cool. If we don't, I'm going to define it again. We'll see. There we go. You know what? Yeah, I do kind of like that. So my paint's still wet behind it, and I'm just, like, touching it slightly just to, like, get rid of, like, that really defined line. And now it just looks almost like there's, like, cloud cover or something. So you still kind of see where there's an orb there, but it kind of has, like, a cloudy feel to it. Like, you can't see the defined orb. And I think that actually works nicer. So I'm going to do that. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to use premixed brown just for ease of use. However, if you um, need to make brown, what you can do is so basically you want to essentially make orange. So you want to mix your red and your yellow and get an orange color, and then once you have your orange that you like, then you're going to mix a little bit of blue into it. And that will then get a brown for you. So you can try and see how that goes. If you don't already have like a pre-mixed brown to use, um, that would be the option there. Um, I'm going to just use this again for convenience of time. And maybe I'll, we'll see. Actually, I'm doing pretty good on time. Maybe I'll just try it. I'll mix some. Let's see. Let's try it out. See how it goes. Put some yellow in red. Make an orange. Do, 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 do. And then get a bit of blue and throw it in there. Definitely more of a gray, the colors that I have. More of like a gray brown. If I put more yellow into it, it lightens it up. Yeah, so there we go. So that's the brown that comes from the, the tube that I got. And then this is the brown that I've made with mixing the red and the yellow together. I put a little bit of blue and then I just put some more like yellow. So it kind of created like a lighter, like a, a muddy, muddy? I don't know. Kind of like sandy, I guess, brown. That can kind of work with some of the highlights. It's a little bit too light for what I want at the moment. But I think I'm still going to use the one from the bottle for now. But I do like it for some of the highlights. I think I'm going to use that as well. Hi, Lillian. Yeah, absolutely. All of my videos are available for free on the Facebook site and also on YouTube. So you can watch them at your convenience at any time. Okay. So I'm going to get my fine brush. And I want to start painting in that background mountain land area here so oh painting when you're <laughs> this way is kind of tricky okay so i'm gonna put in with my brown just put in more or less where that horizon line is going to live And I want to make it a little bumpier, give it some texture, make some hilly land, mountain stuff going on back here. 
not super flat. There we go. Have some land formation happen in there. Okay. So I want to bring this across here. here first. Okay. And then let's put some ridges here as well. So And you can make these any which way you want. Alternately, if you want to make it like a skyline, like a, a city skyline, you could do that too. You can make a bunch of trees in the background. You can do whatever your heart desires. too. There we go. So you got some land mass back there. How pretty. Okay. So I'm going to get a little bit of my black. So I wanted to darken it up a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to some parts. And put a little bit of black on here. Just to try to give, like I want it to kind of look a little bit, like not super flat, I want to give it a bit of like dimension by doing that. And also I want to darken off my brown a little bit just because my brown is a little, it's not very, op uh, it's not very opaque so it's, you can kind of see through it too much. So I want to just change it up a little bit so I'm putting that black in for those reasons there. I'm getting some black and then I'm just putting some more brown and then I'm just mixing it into the wet paint. There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of lines in the water just to get a bit of a shadow of this land mass that's in the water. So I'm going to put little lines. A little bit there going. Oh, hey, Jen. I'm so glad to hear. That's great. Awesome. 
All right, so I want to play more with my water before I do more with anything else in the front. So I want to get some more, like, feeling of waves and reflection happening. So let's start putting in with my thin brush. And I'm just going to put in just some little strokes smaller ones in the background just to get some feeling of movement and of waves and color that's happening back here. yellow first. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with all the colors. I think I'm... <laughs> is not cooperating very well. I'm just putting like a little like ripples. Right now I'm using white now, just down where the middle, where this sun lives. The sun setting. Maybe we'll have a few little white ones streaming down this way. Not too many, not as much as down there. But a few little remnants of it. Share another color. Let's get some orange happening. Hi, Leah. Yeah, you definitely can. So all the videos are up on the website, on um, under the Facebook page, and also on my YouTube page. Okay, so I need to mix a little bit of orange, so red with my yellow, and then I'm going to do the same kind of thing here like little lines. Get my water. And this part is my own spin on it because I really like doing water like this. Like I love doing all these little ripples, especially when there's a bunch of colors happening. Oh, it's my favorite. And the more layers you do of this, the more depth this water is going to have. It's good. Yeah, it looks so cool. But again, you can do it. You don't have to do this. You can do it whichever way you want it to. Like if you just want to have more sweeping motions, you want to have larger brush strokes. There's no wrong way.
going to try to keep pointing it kind of in the middle to try to still have like a heart shape happening. So I'm going to bring this orange-ish color down more to like a point before I change and go to like my more of a red. I'm going to do a bit of a pink actually, I think. First, a little bit of white into my red, get a bit of pink. And we're going to put some of these. to get some red happening. Okay, now let's get some purple. some blue just so it comes out a little bit more in that purple color it's a little bright maybe I need to tone that stroke down a little bit all right cool so it has a nice texture happening now all right so you can see it's now there's like little little lines and again like I I'm okay with the way it looks right now but the more the more layers you do the better it looks so let me see what time do that 6 44 yeah I think we have a little more time yeah I'm, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more to it <laughs> I'm just gonna go back in with my white a little bit more in put a little bit more of the white And it's okay if you get like some of the yellow and the red and, and mix up a little bit. I don't want it to be like, for me, I don't want it to take over any of the colors, but it does make it pop because you have a nice background already. So it already has the feeling of whatever the depths are happening. And that will kind of just make it like whatever, if you put a lighter color in this area, it's going to pop a lot. So just be cautious or else the eye, your, it might take away from what you're doing, but it can also add a lot of like interest to it as well so 
Just play with it. Can't really go wrong. I'm trying to make some of my strokes a little bit longer because I've noticed on my first round my strokes were actually quite small and I think it's because I started close and I wanted it to have be like tinier um, for, but I do want them to be a little bit longer and sweeping now I also want them to go off the page too granted though I I think we're going to have trees covering it on the sides, but so I'm just going back and forth playing with all the colors I already played with. Just grabbing some red now, putting some more little lines in. And sometimes they're, they're going over the other one, sometimes they're not. Like, I'm not being super detailed about that. I'm just kind of putting them wherever I think they should go. Okay, I think we're good there. I like red's kind of weird. It makes me think like the water is like bloody or something. <laughs> I have like a morbid view with it. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do there. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Michelle says I make it look so easy. It is easy. <laughs> it's those little lines. Just have fun with it. So I just put like a bunch of little lines. I think this is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to put some more. I'm going to go back with yellow and just go over some of these. I feel like I went a little too crazy with the orange and the stone. I'm just going with yellow and just touching over those spots. Some more yellow. Just to fill up some of my other lines. That's better. I think that red's a little much too. Let me just dull that one out. Yeah. <laughs> The red lines are cool, but they look a little bit too... Ah, that was too much. I'm going to miss some darker colors. There we go. Okay. So you're going to stop playing in the water. Because I can do that all night. Once we have the water the way we like it, we want to think about how we're going to put our trees. Obviously, they're going to be in a nice little heart kind of shape and the way the land's going to look. So very simply, we can like pretty much almost like draw a heart and then we can kind of fill in from there. If, if that works for you, then I suggest we can do that. 
Um, or um, let me think. No, I think we can start with a tree and we'll get it to curve in and then we'll do another tree curving in and then we'll connect it. Yeah, I think that will work. Okay. So I think we'll do that. Um, let me get still a thinner brush. I think that's working best for me. Yeah, so I think if I look at where this is at, this isn't all the way to the top, but I do think I want mine to go. Yeah, it's probably going to actually hit very similar to that one. Okay, so my heart is pretty much going to be here. So this tree branch is going to come this way and come in. And then the trunk's going to come in and the branch is going to come in. Okay, so let's, we always start like smaller and then we thicken it up. So I'm going to use my brown. So if I say my trunk is more or less here and then I'm going to bring it in. And then this line is not as thick as I want it yet. So I'm just going to thicken up a bit. Right. And remember here it will be thinner. And then as you get closer to where the trunk lives, you're going to make it thicker. Can't have a thick branch on a really thin tree. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let's thicken this up as we come down. Nope, do not go away. Picture, we need you. Okay, I'm, just, I'm using a really thin brush, so I'm probably going to switch over and use my medium brush after to give it a bit more of girth. Okay, so I think that's there. I think I went a little bit too far, but you know what? I can even crisscross the branches and make it a heart. We'll see how that goes. Maybe that will look cool. You know what? I think I'm totally going to do that, actually. So I kind of did go too far. So I'm going to have this branch here. I'm going to come around this way. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to here, and then it gets thicker as we get closer to the trunk. All right, so we have our start of it, and it's going to end up coming down in the middle afterwards, but we're not going to do that just yet. Okay, so let's play a little bit here with my brown paint, and I'm going to put a few, um, yeah, so let's get some little branches coming out of here. I'm going to come up here. Nice. Nice. Okay, now I'm going to have some more come this way. They're all still going to go in the direction of wherever the tree is tilting. 
to still keep this shape happening. Right, and so they're going to be thinner. And then I'm going to use some more that are going to come this way. Dip further, perhaps. Some more of these branches. I'm just gonna come down this way. Mm -hmm. Kadoks. Kind of like <laughs> really depressing right now. <laughs> I think so. It was like a very like sad tree. So go down. Okay. Not too shabby. Okay, so I think what I want to do now is let's sketch in how we want this heart to go, but not the edge of it. We're going to kind of sketch in where, where the line goes below it, and then we're still going to have to put in all of the shrubbery and stuff around it, right? So if we have this heart coming down, we're going to have it come pointing about there. Yes hard to see it there I suppose and then there okay so it's kind of how we have it going here okay and that's all going to be filled in okay so I'm going to switch my brush now from this fine point to a medium one just so I can get some more coverage going and we're still going to put all the little leaves on the trees it's another in brown but i don't know i might want to change up have it a little bit brighter not sure yet we'll see okay anywho let's fill her in shall we okay so let's get some brown okay and let's just fill this in Now they're doing this, we can kind of start filling it in so it kind of has a bit of texture. And so I'll do more to it after and give it some more dimension, but there we go. of this. I got a little black in there by mistake. I do want to get some black and start bringing it out, so I'm going to put a little bit of black. So I do want it to get darker along the side there. So let's do that. Then black paint. So it's going to be black 
over here. And the black on the sides. Okay, and close, and then I'm just going to do the same kind of vibe. we go. Oh, it's very, very dark. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. I feel like it's like, you know what? One second. Let me just, let me lighten it up a little bit just so you can see where the painting stops and my background starts. Maybe like that should be fine. <laughs> there you go. Boy, is that dark. Holy. Okay, cool. So I just kind of fill it in just to have this kind of feel like there's, you know, different shrubbery and stuff happening, right, with that, my medium brush, but now I'm just going to clean that off, just so I can go with my fine brush and then put some details in. How are you guys enjoying it? Is yours turning out the way you like it? Are you having fun? I hope you are. All right, fine brush, fine tip. Okay, there we go. So, okay, and I want to use some of that mixed brown that I made. Okay, so I want to put in a little bit, some lines. So I'm using that kind of that brown that I made out of my orange and my blue which is like a very light one and I'm just putting in a few little just lines here and there no particular fashion Let's get the regular brown. Okay, and then let's get some. So this, I just darkened it slightly. I just put a little dot of black into it just to get a different value. And I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just going to put like little, little strokey lines with my thin brush in this like weedy, grassy area.
the regular one, regular brown too. And then I'm going to use black last. Okay, now let's go black. I'm going to do the same thing with black. Don't go away, we need you. There we go. All right, so we got some nice feelings of shrubbery stuff happening. Kind of cool looking. Okay, now I do want to put in a little bit of like, because you'll notice that there's some little bushy things that are popping. I can put a few little things that are maybe coming out a little bit more clearer than other ones. It's like a little vine. So I'll just do like a little line like that and then I can just put like little like little lines on either side. Or like little leaves or whatnot. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna put like a little kind of little dots in certain areas just to kind of give that idea that there's some other growths happening. I'll do the same thing in brown too, actually. I think that would be all right. Only my, oh, Pearl. <laughs> Pearl saying, our third painting. I don't expect a masterpiece. I'm having fun, but still a little stressed. Ha ha. Yeah, it's definitely, it can definitely be a little stressful for sure. This acrylic paint can be easy to use, but it can also be really, really annoying <laughs> until you get the hang of it. So I, I feel you. I've definitely felt that way before. Okay. I'm just going to do the same kind of thing I did with the, the black, but also in brown. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the background and just a few more little detail-y little doodads. Let's stick out a little bit. Oh, good. Ash says she loves it, and the water looks much better than she expected. That's so good. I'm so happy to hear that, Ashley.
Okay, cool. We have little doodaddies in here. Different coloring. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to our trees now. Let's give them some more emphasis. So we have this. I want to put a little bit of black. A little bit just to give them a bit of shadow so you can kind of feel like it has a bit more like ridges to it. I'm just putting brown kind of over that black that I just did just to tone it down slightly and to blend it a bit. I want to keep the black kind of on the one side. probably in your way. I just made it black and then I just got the browns and, and I just blended it in a bit just to make it a little darker on the sides because the light's coming from the center. So any so I'm gonna have it there's gonna be a bit of a shadow on the tree on any part that's not where the sun's not really hitting it. So up here it's also going to be a little darker too. So I'm just putting a, like a light line of black on the areas where the sun's not hitting these. And then I'm just dulling it out a bit with brown paint. I still want it to be darker but I don't want it to be fully like a straight black line it doesn't really make that much sense I'm just blending it a little bit with the brown okay cool and then soon we're gonna put in some little leaves and stuff That's a little bit too much water there. Okay. Okay, cool. So now let's put in, so we have our heart happening. I think I'm going to maybe put in some little like leaves and stuff. So yeah, let's just go with the brown first, I think, and then we'll play with it from there. Okay, so let's put in some of these. So So I'm just basically going with like a little, my thin brush, and I'm just giving little, almost like ovals, but I'm just kind of going with the shape of my brush to do it. And if it doesn't really work out, then I'm just making the shape myself.
Now's when I would like to have some music on. <laughs> Doing these little leaves. Okay. okay, so we have some little brown leaves happening. I'm going to mix a bit of green, I think, because I want a bit of green for it to come out a little bit. So we're going to mix our yellow and our blue together. I needed a little bit more of the yellow. So there we go. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll just mix them together. Okay, perfect, Sean. I'm just going to put a little pop of green on some of these leaves because I feel like it doesn't really make sense for them to be brown. I know it should be like a silhouette, but let's see how it works. I think I want a little bit of color.
ganz okay. Yeah, I like that more with the green. I know it can be more of a silhouette as well, but I'm digging it. I feel like it's like new lights, like almost like more springtime. You know, kind of pretty. I'm gonna do a little bit down here too. A little bit of green in here. Yeah. like that. That looks cool. Alright, well, I think, I think I am complete for today. So I'm going to sign my name up with my paint. Awesome. And there we go. So there is my completed romantic sunset. I'm just going to bring that back up here. Hey, everyone. All right. So yeah, so there is my completed painting for this event here. So I really like it. I like, I do like the green that I added. I think it pops nicely. I think it looks really nice and more like spring, like kind of fresh and new love and all that jazz. So yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this session. Uh, for anyone who um, I see Mary, you are asking if it is going to be available later and it will be. So under the videos tab on the Facebook page, you can watch any of the videos, um, any of the lives that I've done in the past, they're all there. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, Lisa's Painting Parties, and you can watch them there. So it really just depends on whatever format you prefer to view it at. Um, it's the exact same video. Um, it'll be on the YouTube probably within about an hour or two after this is complete. Um, so yeah, and again, uh, for anyone who enjoyed this, please let anyone else know, share uh, the page with any other painters in your life. Um, every Saturday, there'll be three options for you to choose from. All of the images are ones that I find online or uh, either paintings or photos. Um, I don't own the rights to them. They're just ones that are inspiring and are beautiful. Um, and um, I show three of them to you guys. You guys vote on the one that you like best. And then on Tuesday, we announce the winner. And then on Wednesday, we paint the winner live. And uh, the first time I'm, this is the first time I'm painting it. Um, whenever we do it live on the Wednesday and I talk you through how to go about approaching it. Um, and you guys are more than welcome, obviously, to tip and give tips and tricks and whatnot um, as to how you like it as well. So I hope you all had a great time and you enjoyed it. And um, I'm really glad. Ashley said you had a really good time. I'm really glad. I'm happy that you joined. Um, and Brie, yeah, definitely, definitely do it later. So everything will be available online, like I said. So you're all good to go. And um, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your day. Anyone who's uh, in the South uh, who are, you guys are experiencing a lot of crazy snow uh, that you're not used to, I hope uh, you are staying warm and you are safe and healthy because um, I know that sounds pretty crazy down there. Um, 
And um, yeah, so I hope everyone is doing good. Anyone else? Have a great week. Take care. Bye.